So this machine will be homing randomly, it works right, but we walk away and it's homing. Come up with the same error again. Huh? It comes up with the random you errors. See? and There's a release switch that we're going to adjust. So Brian here is adjusting the vertical, this vertic vertical shaft of, this, of the cup to make sure that the top and bottom touch the home position at the same time and same place because it's currently not doing that. It's just something I never ran across and I learned one today. Spills. Explain it again. Okay, you've got the the X is the mechanism that runs it horizontally. Right. That switch up at the top when it goes back to the left is the X home switch. Uh -huh. So, and then the Y home switch is the up and down. That's this little switch on the bottom. So when it goes down, it knows. So after every vent, it has to go back to home. Correct. Otherwise it's lost. Okay. The okay. big problem with this switch is you get a, a syrup spill, you break a can or something spills. It sits right here, it gets sticky. And the syrup gets on that switch. If it doesn't release right away when it goes to go up, because that motor encoder starts counting once it leaves home. So if that switch doesn't release right away, you're gonna to go too high, not deliver the product like you should. So it's calculated exactly. Right, so it has to know, home is critical. It has to know where home is. Because it counts both directions once it leaves home. So that's okay. how it knows where to go to get the product and deliver the product. That's a lot better. And so at the naked eye, it looked perfectly normal, but uh, his a glance immediately he noticed. And this is the other switch, the X switch right there. It's the same switch, this position. Where my head? Right there. <laughs> and it was basically fickle. It was touching and not touching. And so it, that's why all this time it works we walk away it doesn't work and so this is a mystery that we solved today on the bevmax great machine just uh, hours of use and hundreds of miles so if you look at the control board when you're in this position test mode in factory diagnostics those three lights indicate so when you see when the yellow light come on and off, yes, that's I the X that. home. And then the green light flashing, correct? That's the Y home. So you, you can see that the switches are working or not working. Excellent. In this that is, programming mode. This is an excellent, excellent tip. So okay. what I'll do is go into this position test. And here I'll switch places with it. Run it up and down, and I can see the switch, the lights go off and come on. I understand. And every time I say go home, I want to make sure they come on and stay on. So it stays solid once it's home. That's right. And when you finish, it goes, goes away. That's only when you're in this position test programming mode, which is to test, whoops, let me get out of here. Two times brings you to test mode, then F star, and that number one is position test. That's where you can see uh, those lights I got it so yeah normally you would for see testing them. normally you wouldn't see those got it but that's why if somebody calls me say i have a homing problem i'll have them go right there and say okay is your yellow light on is your green light on because you know right away it's well, at provided, home or, provided they go through this step right here the that's, step. Well, over the phone i'll have them go there okay and say okay is your yellow light on no well then it's i know it's not at home Okay. They can say, well, yeah, it's over, but if you don't see the yellow light, it's, the control board doesn't know it's at home. And that's when I went to line up and adjust 
make sure you know, I just moved by loosening that belt I just brought the bottom over so it squared that up better because it was hitting at the bottom before the top could hit that switch fully. This has to be here. Can you adjust the gear? See that clamp is what holds it to the belt. So if you loosen that up I can swing that over right to here. the right, yes, to square up this whole thing. I see, with the screwdriver you move millimeters. I loosen and I just move the whole thing and then tighten it back down. Got it. Yeah. It actually attaches the mechanism to the belt. Okay. And by loosening and moving it, we're taking the bottom and just moving it over so the bottom doesn't hit. So it was, it was like this, instead of like this. Okay. So yes. the bottom was hitting before that switch could make good. Okay. We'll give it a good test now.